Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am MA Tour and today we are doing another deck profile. And following up from last week where we did a the Red Dragon Archfiend, I figured why not do the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Alright, so let's start this deck profile. So starting off I run one black stone of legend. This card is good because it just allows you to easily tribute it and special summon one level seven or lower red eyes monster from your from your deck except for red eyes chick. So yeah, as well as you can banish this card from your graveyard and then shuffle a red eyes monster except chick <coughs> from your gra graveyard back to your deck. So it's just a good way to, um, yeah, it's mainly used to bring out your monsters faster. Next, I run one black metal dragon. Uh, you can target one rise monster you control, except rise B check. Equip this to it, and it gains 600 attack. Um, and this card sends to your graveyard, you can add one red eyes card from your deck to your hand except check. Yeah, all the it's a like common theme with like the red eye with all the like red eyes black dragon cards. It'll always say red eyes any red eyes card except red eyes be check because its name was changed. Uh in like twenty sixteen I think. Uh I'll show up the new name on the screen about right now. So yeah. Okay, then moving on, I do actually run one Red Eyes Black Check. You can send this card to the graveyard, especially on one Red Eyes Black Dragon from your hand. Yeah, it's just an easy tribute off, special summon a Red Eyes from your hand. Next, I run one Red Eyes Baby Dragon. I run a baby dragon because it just, again, similar to what the other cards are. This card is destroyed by battle sent to the graveyard. You can special summon one level seven or lower red eyes monster from your deck. And if you do, you can equip this card to that monster from the graveyard. Then it gains 300 additional attack points and. Um, yeah, and if it's sent to the graveyard again, you can have one level one dragon monster from your deck graveyard to your hand. So yeah, just an easy way to, to like say add your black stone or black metal dragon or red eyes beat chick. So yeah, it's a good card. Next I run is one dwarf star planet eater. Or planet adder. This card is it's level four light attribute dragon monster with seventeen hundred attack, twelve hundred defense. It's good because once per turn during your end phase, you can add the turn that the w if this card was normal summoned, you can add one level seven light or dark monster from your deck to your hand. So, and if you remember correctly, Red Eyes Black Dragon is a level seven dark monster. So. You definitely have a target for that, so it's just just an easier way of getting Rise Black Dragon to your hand for future plays. Okay, next I run is one Keeper of the Shrine. Um, the, yeah, this card it can be treated as two tributes for a dragon dragon type monster, and it's a good. Uh, defensive wall level 4, 2100 defense, as well as um, if you have a dragon type monster you control is destroyed, you can destroy by battle, you can special summon this card out from your graveyard. So yeah, it's just an easy way to just keep recycling and keep adding more dragons out, keep bringing them out. So yeah. Next, I run two 
Red Eyes Retro Dragon. If a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster you control except Chick is destroyed by your opponent's. Yeah. If it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card. Yeah. Just then you can special summon this card, then. Then you can special summon, I believe. You can bring back the destroyed monster, I believe. If I make anything wrong. I'll just put quickly put a correction up on the screen now. So yeah, it's just a really good way of bringing them back. So I run is one meteor dragon red red eyes impact Gemini monster level six two thousand defense dark attribute twenty eight hundred no eighteen hundred attack. Uh, treat it as a normal monster, like all Geminis. Then you have to normal summon it again to activate its other effect. Other red eyes monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So it's just a nice way to just keep keep your red eyes monsters out on the field for a while longer. Next, keeping with some more red eyes, our run is one. Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. This is usually my go to monster, say with um, Black Storm of Legend or Red Eyes Baby Dragon, just to bring out Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning because it's 2500 attack, level 6. It's a Gemini. It's, it's effect once per turn. You can destroy all face up monsters your opponent controls with defense lower than this card's attack. So yes, that also it didn't say original, so that means if you can increase this monster's attack, like increasing it more and more, you can destroy that many more monsters. So yeah, that's a good card. Next, moving on to some of the classics, I run two Red Eyes Black Dragons. If I thought about running three, but if I ran three, even though this is a Red Eyes deck, it can still clog up the hand sometimes. So yeah, it's just generic. Uh, dark attribute level 7, 2400 attack, 2000 defense. The null text reads, A ferocious dragon with a deadly attack. So yeah. Run that. Next, keeping with more of the red eyes, I run one. Red eyes, black flare dragon. Again, same attribute type attack defense as red eyes, black dragon. Um, Gemini Monster Normal Summon again. The effect is uh, if damage calculation is done involving this card, you can deal, you can burn your opponent for an additional 2400 points of damage. So, yeah. A lot of the Red Eyes cards involves just a lot of burning. Yeah. Then, moving like a little farther away from the Red Eyes theme. I, in order just like in case I get a bad hand, I can stop the battle phases with a s swift scarecrow and a battle fader. These cards are similar effects, except with a battle fader you can special summon to the field, so you have an extra monster on the field. Swift scarecrow, you just discard it, and the and the battle phase will end. So yeah, just nice easy ways to end battle phase. Then guessing it's a red eyes deck, Joey Wheeler. Why not just run a time wizard with time magic? Yeah, spellcast level two. Once per turn, um, you can flip a coin. If you call it right, destroy all your opponent's monsters. Call it wrong, all your monsters are destroyed, and you take damage equal to half their total attack. So yeah. Then, with some, then I also run one absolute crusader. If all five or higher monster. A special summon, tribute this card, and destroy it. So yeah, it's just an easy way to just stab your opponent from making big plays as well as do some combos with this deck later on. Which you'll see soon. Next, following up with like more tributing power I run is one double cost on. Level four dark attribute zombie monster, sixteen fifty defense and seventeen hundred attack. This card can be treated as, treated as two troops for a dark monster. 
and yes, a lot of dark monsters in this deck, so it comes in handy. Next up is one Inari Fire. You can only control one face up Inari Fire, and if you control a spellcaster monster, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was just during the next standby phase of this card was destroyed by card effect. So yeah. Just an it's also a pyro monster. You don't really see a lot of those and it's used for combo but you'll see soon enough. <coughs> next up I run is one Jinzo. Yeah, classic Jinzo, level six, five hundred attack, dark attribute machine. Uh Trap cards and their effects cannot be activated while this card is on the field and negate all trap card effects. Yeah, just an easy way to just shut down your opponent and then Iron is one summon skull. I run summon skull for an easy uh it's just a level six tribute monster. Level six level, twenty five hundred attack, twelve hundred defense. Oh. Yeah, sorry, um Sorry, I can read that fully. Okay. Next up, with the last for the last monster I run is one Gandor, the Dragon of Destruction. This is personally one of my favorite dragon monsters. Uh, may have level eight dark monster. Zero attack, zero defense. Cannot be special summoned. One, this you can pay half of your life points to destroy as many cards on the field as possible, except itself and. When the cards are destroyed, they're banished. And then this card gains 300 attack points for each banished card. And then at the end phase, that this card was normal summoned, you uh, have to destroy. Yeah. Just an easy way to just clear the field if you're in a lockdown. And yeah, it's a really fun card to play. Next, moving on to spell cards, I run is. One ancient rules. Effect simple. Special summon one level five or higher normal monster in your hand. So yeah, run as black dragon. Special summon it out instantly. Then I run is one cards of the red stone. Summon one level seven red eyes monster from your hand to your river. Then draw two cards. And th then you can send one level seven red eyes monster from your deck to the graveyard. So yeah, then you can activate once once per turn. Yeah, just an easy way to set up your graveyard for later monsters as well as draw power. Next up I run is one Dark Eruption. Target one Dark Monster with 1500 or less attack in your graveyard at your hand. So that would involve that would involve like a lot of monsters like Black Snow Legend, Black Metal Dragon, Red Eyes Black Chick, Red Eyes Baby Dragon, uh, Keeper of the Shrine, uh, Battle Fader, and yeah that's it. Yeah, just a lot of targeting that I can that you can use with this card. So yeah. Next up again to set up the graveyard more is one foolish burial. Send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. Just an easy way to set up for future plays. Then I run is one Inferno Fire Blast. This card allows you to if you control a Rise Black Dragon in your Monster zone, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack. Um, yeah, but your bl Rise Black Dragon cannot attack during that turn. So, yeah. Just an easy way for more burn damage. And like I said, for sending monsters to the graveyard, an easy way to set up will be with the Monster Reborn. Yeah. This card was now limited from the recent ban list, so I thought, hey, why not run in this deck? This card, fo this deck focuses on like saying. Monsters from your deck to the graveyard, why not take advantage of that with Monster Reborn, special summon them out. So yeah, have some fun with it. Next up for fusion cards, because Red Eyes gotta have some fusion. One polymerization, simple fusion card, and then two Red Eyes fusions. The Red Eyes fusions, if you don't know what they do, they allow you to you can s fusion summon one fusion monster from that has Red Eyes as its name from your extra deck by sending the the required materials from your deck to the graveyard, and you can you cannot no more special summon the rest of the turn. The turn you activate the effect, you only read it once per turn. So yeah, just an easy way to set up your graveyard as well as bring out your most powerful fusion monsters. Next for another fusion 
I run is the Claw of Hermos. You probably, a lot of you probably saw this coming. Just an easier way to just bring out some other fusion cards and yeah, works good with this type of deck. Uh, then for spell cards, I do run one Axe of Despair. Equip monster gains a thousand attack. Um, I usually equip this card to Archfiend because then it can easily bring up to 3500 attack and destroy all those monsters. So yeah. And then another card I run is Supervice. If equip only to a Gemini monster you control, um, then it becomes an effect monster. So you can easily um, special summon. No, you can use activate its effects instantly instead of waiting another turn. And if this card is sent from field to the graveyard, you can target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So again, easy way to bring out more monsters from like after setting up a graveyard. Next, moving on to trap cards. I do run is one Curse of Anubis. Change all effect monsters on the field to defense position until the end of this turn's activation. Defense of all of those monsters becomes zero. And their battle positions cannot be changed. So yeah, it's a nice way, especially because there's a lot of the Gemini monsters, they are normal monsters, and you have normal monsters, so yeah. Next up I run is one, Kunai with Chain. Now, classic card to throw on this deck just for the fun of it. Um, you can activate either of these effects or both of them. Equip to a monster, it gains 500 attack, or put an attacking monster into change into defense position. So yeah, it's a nice trap card. Next up I run for another equip trap. I do run is one. Metal Morph. Target one face up monster on the field. Uh, it gains. Equip this card to it. It gains 300 attack. And then. When it battles. It, when it declares an attack against an opponent's monster. You target that monster. And it gains half the attack of the targeted monster. So yeah. Easy way to gain attack. Next up I run is one. Red Eyes Fang with Chain. You can target one Red Eyes monster you control. Equip this card to it. it. It can make up two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Uh, you send this equip spell to the graveyard, then target one effect monster on the field. Equip this card to the monster, and then take control. So yeah, this can easily. Yeah, you can basically use this card to take take control of another monster your opponent controls. And equip it to the, the card that this card was equipped to. Just an easy way to just thin out your opponent's field. Next I run is one Red Eye Spirit. It's really simple, just like Monster Reborn. Uh, special summon one Red Eyes monster from your graveyard, except uh, check. Next up for the last trap I do run is one Return of the Red Eyes. If you control Red Eyes monster, except check. You can target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Um, if this card in your possession is destroyed by opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one right eyes monster in your graveyard except chick and special summon it. You can only use each effect once per turn. So yeah, just an easier way to just bring out more red eyes monsters. And now moving on to the extra deck, I do run is one Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. It requires one level six Archfiend Normal Monster and one Red Eyes Normal Monster. So easy Red Eyes Fusion, send Summon Skull and Red Eyes Black Dragon to the graveyard to bring this out. Um, yeah, when this card, basically, the just this card, when it attacks, it can and deals battle damage to your opponent. You can return one Red Eyes Monster from your you can return a Rise Black Dragon from your graveyard to your deck and inflict damage of its original attack to your opponent, so yeah, more burn damage. Next up I run is one Black Skull Dragon, just in case you don't want to bring out the Archfiend. You can just bring out the simple Black Skull Dragon of just Summon Skull and Rise Black Dragon, just for the fun of it. And I do have the same stats, it's just the only difference is one has effect. Next up I run is one Ignition Beast Volcanon. One it requires one machine type monster and one pyro type monster. So the Inari, fi the Inari Fire, and then Jinzo or Swift Scarecrow for it. 
Uh, when this card is fusion summoned, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Um, and then you can tribute this card and destroy the targeted monster, but then your opponent loses a life points equal to the targeted monster's attack. So again, a lot more burn damage right there. Then moving on to like the the like hairmost fusion I run is Time Magic Hammer just for the just to, like stop opponents plays stop some powerful monsters they have one goddess bow just to do more attacks um, again similar to rocket hermos cannon just do another yeah just do another attack and then the one that I tend to use the most red eyes red eyes black dragon sword now this card I tend to use the most because it's the most useful in my opinion. Requires a dragon type monster and claw of Hermos. Uh, the equipped monster gains a th 1000 attack and 500 attack and defense for every dragon type monster on the field and in the graveyard. So yeah, just nice and simple. Attack booster. And last but not least I run is one Red Ice Flare Metal Dragon. Two level seven monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. While it has XC materials on it, uh, your every time your opponent activates a a card effect, they take 500 points of damage. As well as you can detach one XC's material from this card, then target one red eyes mon normal monster in your grave or special element. So yeah, this is an easy way to continue your more plays and maybe do some more burn damage due to its effect. So yeah. So anyway guys, that does it for the my Rise Block Dragon deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now there's probably a lot of you saying like, oh, what happened to like Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon? Well that card isn't in this deck because I don't have it. I don't have Red Eyes Gear Freed. Yeah, a lot of the decks that I that I make are involved just the cards I have. I won't. I'm always feel that I won't go out of my way to purchase the cards online because, yeah. I rather just like have fun and like see what I get from boxes and packs. So yeah. Okay. Anyway, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave. Please leave a like if you like the content, why not subscribe for more, you can know, get notified whenever I whenever I upload a new video. As I said, um, our I upload deck profiles every Sunday and and I believe we're gonna be doing a small theme. Next couple deck profiles are gonna be all dragon based, so that's gonna be fun. So keep an eye out for that and anyway, I am Anime Tour and I'll see you all next time. Bye.